So the way I kind of got involved in this, it was uh, uh, I was at my gym and uh, Jared uh, came walking in and said, uh, hey, you know, I, I wanted to talk to the gym owner here. And I said, That's, that would be me. And so <clears throat> he starts telling me about this uh, supplement product. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, here we go. It's, it's going to be another supplement that for a sponsor. I, I'm figuring he's in there because he wants to sponsor me. And, and uh, you know, because I'm fighting in the UFC. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, the, first off, I, all these thoughts are going through my head that, that uh, he wants to give me a bunch of junk that I'm not going to want, that I'm not going to use. Uh, my house already looked like a GNC at the time. Uh, I was sponsored by uh, Muscle Tech, which is the largest uh, supplement company in the world. And I could get uh, $700 of free supplements per month. So I was just constantly taking that stuff in, and my house was just over, uh, overridden with, with, with supplements. So. And I noticed that anyways, every time I ever took supplements that I just basically ended up with expensive urine um, because you could tell like anytime you went to the bathroom, I mean, it almost it's gross because you I mean it's your urine would be dark no matter what you would do if you're taking those supplements because your body's trying to get it out. So it does whatever it can to get it out. Um, sometimes it, it can't. So it comes out in acne or whatever. And, and uh, but you know, I knew that my body wasn't utilizing anyways the, the vitamins and, and the stuff that I was taking. Uh, so anyways, Jared's in there and he's telling me about the product. And I kind of said, you know, so, you know, what are you looking for and what are you looking to do? And then he starts telling me about, you know, like what you guys are going through right now today. And I'm like, I, I don't know, man, just kind of leave me some material and, and I'll get back to you. And, uh, Never even thought about it again. He comes back with uh, his friend uh, who brought him in, um, Scott Whitney. And Scott was really good about it. He knew how to kind of draw me in. We were sitting there, we had a little talk, and somehow, I don't even know how it came up, but we started talking politics. And I'm kind of a politics junkie. And uh, so he starts talking about uh, being a conservative, and I'm a conservative. So we're going back and forth, and uh, he gets me all excited. <laughs> And then, you know, then they're shoving the drinks down my throat and I'm liking the way they taste and I'm taking the energy drink. And so now I'm interested. I'm interested in the drink. And, uh, and, and I said, you know what, why don't you do this? Give me the information. Give me, give me some kind of information so I can look at this product. And I was already at that time, I was battling some, some problems. I have, uh, you know, I'm not going to go through the whole list of stuff that I have, but you know, I, I bulging discs running right through my neck. C5, C6, C7, C8 are all bulging discs. I have um, <coughs> uh, impingement syndrome in my right shoulder. I have bursitis in my shoulder. I have uh, arthritis in my right foot. I've got arthritis now in my hand. Um, so yeah, I have and more problems than that. But I also was having some vitamin problems. Uh, I was deficient in a lot of vitamins that my body was not processing or using. And I found that out when I went to my doctor and he drew a bunch of blood and he did a bunch of tests and said, listen, you know, this is your problem. They're manageable. You know, it's not anything that's not manageable, but you're going to have to do this. And so the next thing you know, I'm, I'm on a bunch of, uh, once again, on, on vitamins and I'm on fish oils and I'm on all this stuff. And then when, you, when I started looking and reading more about the fish oil that I was taking, you don't know what you're really taking because when you're taking fish oil, you're taking whatever that fish has ever digested and ever been in. So if the fish is eating and been in mercury water or wherever, and a lot of this stuff is purchased from places like Korea and China or whatever, and they purchase it by 50 gallon barrels and you don't even know where it's been or how it's been handled. And I'm now digesting all of that and I had to take a lot of it in. And, um, and then all the other vitamins still, I was still having the expense of urine. And when I got the information on the product and I really started reading about it and then the, uh, finding out that it was all chelated <clears throat> and then after I found out what chelate, the, chelated, uh, the, the chelate process is, um, then I tried to find other vitamins that were, ke that were chelated and I couldn't find any. This was the only one. What chelation or the, the, pro uh, the process of, uh, uh, to chelate is, is when your body has to take <clears throat> a vitamin. So if you take, uh, let's say, a multivitamin, it's gonna then break that vitamin down and it's gonna take certain parts of that vitamin and it has to turn an inorganic substance into an organic substance so it's usable. 
So if it, it can't process all of that multivitamin, no, nobody can. So you, it, it's always gonna be randomly what you're drawing out of that. You're not taking, like when it says it has, you know, uh, 500 uh, milligrams of vitamin A or whatever it is, or vitamin C, you're not getting all of that. That's not what's happening. It's only breaking down a certain amount of it and you're using a certain amount of it <clears throat> because of that process. The thing is that with this stuff, you bypass that process. So it, it doesn't have to change that, that, uh, that substance. So that's one of the things that interested me. The other thing that interested me, uh, which I say to everybody, is the taste. Now, if people that, I don't, I don't care who you are, uh, but I mean, you've got to be really, really mentally focused <laughs> to be able to keep drinking something that tastes like garbage. You know, um, and, I, and I'm not that guy, you know, I'm gonna enjoy life, I'm gonna like what I'm eating, I'm gonna like what I'm drinking, and uh, you know, things like Weight Watchers and, and protein shakes, it all t a lot of it tastes disgusting. This stuff tastes great. So <clears throat> before I knew it, um, I was into this full steam and uh, immediately got involved with, with, uh, with Jared in the, in the company and got involved talking to Scott. I had a party at my house and we got more people involved. And my wife was kind of rolling her eyes at the whole thing like, oh God, not, an, not one of these things again. And just not really into it. And uh, she was actually kind of into the, uh, where her brother, uh, his, her brother's wife, was into that Shakeology thing. So she was trying out the Shakeology, which was made by that P90X company. And uh, so one day, um, you know, you know, I'd been telling her all these positive things that were happening, and she was seeing positive things happening. And she said to me one day, hey, do you mind if I just have one of these, if I bring it to work? Because that's what she does every morning. She makes a shake and she brings it to work and has it work. And I said, yeah, sure, go ahead. So rather than having her uh, Shakeology, she, she had that. So then the next morning, you know, she doesn't ask. <laughs> she makes another one and she brings it to work. The next morning, she makes another one, brings it to work. And about a week went by. And uh, the next week, she's sitting there and she's making one and... You know, she says to me, listen, I'm going to say something to you and I don't want it to turn into one of those, I told you so or whatever. I just don't want it to go there. She goes, but something is happening with, with, with me taking this stuff. And I said, well, what do you mean? And she said, well, every time I go to work and I have my Shakeology in the morning, um, by, cause she goes into work at five in the morning. So she goes by seven or eight, I'm eating pretzels. By 10, I'm eating an apple and I'm drinking coffee and I'm doing this stuff to curve my appetite. I'm doing whatever. And then by you know, 12, now I'm eating my, my lunch and I'm doing whatever. But she goes, this entire week, all I've done is had that shake and then drank water and I've had no cravings and I've made it to 12, no problem. She goes, so, you know. Anyways, she then got involved and then she actually became a distributor. Not even, you know, because you know, I didn't push her to it or anything. I mean, she just decided this is what I want to do. And she's got girls from, from her, because uh, she, she, uh, she's the NBS coordinator for, for a hospital, but she has a bunch of nurses now that are doing it and, and are involved in it. Um, but I, I can tell you this, that um, as far as like what I've done, and I'm, a, I'm a, I, you know, I love the shake and, and I actually purposely, Tried to put on some weight recently, and what I did is I stopped taking all that stuff, and I got up to as heavy, uh, the heaviest I got, which was about 10 days ago, I got to 217, and I said, okay, I'm going to take pictures right now, and I'm going to start taking the shakes, so, and that was 10 days ago, and so today I was 206, and all I do is I'm still, I'm still taking in, um, you know, about, I, I've dropped my caloric intake, because I, I don't really, I'm not, as hungry as I was when I, you know, wasn't using the shake either, and uh, but uh, I'm probably taking in about 4,000, 4,500 calories, and I'm doing two shakes a day is what I'm doing, and uh, now I'm right down to like I said, I've gone from 217 to 206 in about 10 days, which is you know, uh, and my goal was just to get to 200, because when I go to fight, I fight at 185, and I what I try to do is cut that last 15 pounds of water the last week before the fight. So I'm already gonna be where I wanna be 
in, in no time at all and, and I've got eight weeks. So in another week, I'll already be at 200. I already reached that goal, no problem. And uh, uh, one of the fights that I had where I had a real problem where I'd messed up my system because I dropped so much weight. Um, the next fight, I was have really struggling with my weight. And uh, I was about 22 pounds, I believe, over four days before the fight, which, you know, you never want to be four days before a fight. And uh, all I did for those, well, three days until the weigh-in was four of those shakes a day and made my weight. And then uh, in that fight uh, was the busiest I've ever been in probably, you know, five, six years as far as my output, my active output. And I never got tired. And it went the distance. I just never got tired. So, um, you know, that's, that's why I know that, that the products work and I stand behind them. And, uh, and I use the Neuro too. So um, I'm, I use the uh, Vipac, the nutritional shakes. I haven't used any of the new product that just came out. Jared's kind of filled me in on some of the stuff. That I haven't touched it yet. Maybe that's just because I'm one of those guys that just, when I find something that works and I like it, that's what I want to do. But the Neuro is another one um, where, you know, uh, I get up at uh, five o'clock in the morning and come by four o'clock, I'm exhausted because I've already trained uh, sometimes twice and uh, running kids around and doing all that. Uh, and typically I was using, you know, basically straight caffeine as was my thing, but you crashing off that too. But now I've been using the neuro sometimes right around four because at four o'clock is when I actually start my actual job. I mean, I teach, so I teach from four o'clock until eight o'clock almost every night. So I'll pop in a neuro and the cool thing about the neuro is like, it's not one of those things that you take and you like get like jittery or antsy. I kind of associate it to like more of mental clarity and focus. And uh, that's, you know, um, as a kid growing up, I always had those problems. I was, was never focused. And my son, who was 18, uh, he was the same way. And, um, but, you know, with the, and, and my son was on ADD meds when I first got him from, from my, my wife, my ex-wife, um, and took him off of it. And he, you know, he'll use all these products too. And, uh, you know, he's now he's a straight A student. I mean, he doesn't take any of that stuff. I'm not saying that that's all, obviously this, it's also comes that, he works really hard and, and he does, does the things that he needs to do. But, uh, you know, I stand behind uh, uh, the neuro product too. And, and, you know, you take a lot of those things and you can't sleep at night. You know, you're laying in bed and you're restless. And I'll tell you what, it's never happened. I've never taken that neuro and ever gone to bed and, and not been able to sleep. So that's another real positive thing about it.